You good? Woo! <laughs> He's got the Punisher helmet. Uh, I'm gonna have to check that out when we stop. Uh, poor Bambi. Man, that is one thing we have a lot of out here, dead deer. And I've heard of some people getting hit by deer on their bikes. Man, I could not. It's like, what are the chances of that happening? You on such a small bike and just, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's kind of the same as a car, you know, a car hitting a deer, but I know, it's just a weird thing to think about. You know, motorcycle hitting a deer, man. That's got to be rough. Woo. Yeah, we're gonna swap right now. Oh. Let me see your helmet. Put your helmet down. There you go. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't realize that was the uh, the Punisher helmet. Yeah. I'm like going past you. I'm like, damn, nice. I I thought it was like scraped up or something. Oh, that's it awesome. Is, but <laughs> I'm dropping it. Right. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh man, that feels different. That feels different sitting low again. <laughs> All right. Woo. <laughs> you can two finger my clutch. It's right at the end. Okay. Yeah. Used to yours, yours back further. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's different getting on somebody else's bike. That is a lot different. I like these mirrors though. He's got the mirror extenders on here. Oh, by the way, what's going on guys? I don't have a camera here. What's going on guys, right right here? <laughs> oh man, totally different. Man, this, it rides so smooth though. It feels good leaned over. He's got the bigger rear tire on it. Holy cow, man, this feels so much different. Oh man. I like it though, it's, why was my bike never this smooth? I mean, I don't know, maybe because I got the M4 on there now, but like the bike in general just feels so smooth. Wow. I'm going to have to ask him if he did anything else. I mean, my, my bike is a rough little biatch compared to this thing. Man, I'm really liking this. But so while we're out on Matt's bike, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about uh, my wedding disaster. I'm going to let Matt go by me too once we get further out because I've never seen anybody else on my bike. So I've never had anybody else to trust on my bike. So yeah, that's cool to see him back there on my bike. That's awesome. But I want to tell you a little bit about my wedding disaster. So imagine if you will, it is the night before your wedding. It's 10 o'clock at night. You're at a group ride with some new people that you just met. You know, at this new bike night, and you're like having all this fun, like, oh, this is a good time. Oh man, it's crazy not to like hear the exhaust and all that. Man, I really wish this truck was in front of me. But anyway, so, you know, you're at this bike night, 10 o'clock at night, and you get a call or you get a message uh, from your DJ. And because you're trying to, you for the past week, you've been trying to figure some stuff out as far as the details. You know, you're trying to figure stuff out and, uh, you know, your DJ goes, you know, hey man, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to make it. And it's like, really? <laughs> and to make it worse, it's a guy that I've worked with for like 10 years. So, you know, to make it worse, you know, I've worked with him for like 10 years. And come on now, today, Junior. This is nice. This is so smooth. I can't believe how smooth this thing is. Oh man, and it just leans over. It just leans over with this tire. Wow. I really like that. Holy cow. But so the DJ, you know, he goes, he goes, hey man, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be able to make it. You know, my deepest apologies. And it's like, it's like, man, I, I we've, we've been planning this for like six months. 
So I did what any responsible fiance would do. And uh, I didn't tell my uh, I didn't tell my fiance. <laughs> I, I didn't want her to stress and worry about that the night before the wedding because you know it was already stressful enough and I didn't want her to stress anymore. So I didn't tell her. I, you know I'm just like uh, she. We did the traditional thing where she stayed at her friend's house and uh, you know her, her and her friends they stayed in but they they were drinking kind of heavily. So she was sending me all kinds of videos and stuff and Snapchats and you know of all of them having having all kinds of fun. Man, this feels so much different. It's a good different though. It is, it's really good different. But so, you know, I didn't tell her, you know, anything about the DJ. I, you know, I didn't want her to worry or anything like that. So I stayed up till four in the morning making a playlist, you know, cocktail hour, dinner, uh, reception, dance party music, everything. I was making all, you know, my playlist and everything. Four in the morning and I'm like, I got this. We got some speakers. Um, you know, my sister's got a karaoke machine, so we can, you know, uh, have that for the ceremony, for speaking. Um, you know, we'll make this work. We got this. We'll make it work. And plus, I'll spend, or I'll save $300 then. But, <laughs> that it wasn't the case. That didn't happen. So, the next morning, I, after I woke up, I had my alarm set for 7.30. You know, mind you, I went to bed at 4. You know, probably didn't actually fall asleep till 4.30. I was up at 7.00. I was up at 7.30 and, uh, you know, my wife calls me, or my fiance at the time, you know, she calls me, she's like, hey, what's the situation with the DJ? And I'm like, yeah, you know, I, 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 I was kind of cutting her off, but I'm like, hey, um, so we don't have a DJ, but don't worry, I got this. You know, I'm like, I got this, I stayed up real late, uh, making a playlist and everything. So, you know, I'm like, we're good, I'll, I'll just grab my speakers and, uh, you know, I got this. Man, that grips so nice. That grips so nice. Wow, I'm really loving that. I thought that was a cop for a second. But so, you know, I'm like, I got this, you know, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, oh, that's funny because I have a playlist too. So I was like, God, I stayed up for nothing. You know, I was trying to be the hero. I was trying to be the hero fiance. You make her so proud of me by doing all this. And she's like, oh, I gotta play this, we're good. <laughs> but so throughout the morning, it was busy, it was stressful as it was. Um, so, you know, we were like, all right, well, you know what? Let's just, you know, let's just go ahead and try to find a DJ anyway, because it's gonna be stressful for us to try to be DJing ourselves at our own wedding. So we went ahead and we found a DJ who was gonna do it last minute. But the funny thing was, she was actually scheduled to play a gig that night. Um, she plays guitar, so she was going to play a gig that night at a bar. But she was like, you know what, I'll set up early. Uh, you know, I'll be there for your ceremony, but then um, I'll come back later for the actual uh, reception and, uh, you know, to have all the dancing and everything. And why are we going so slow again? My God. So the ceremony went off without a hitch. Uh, it was, you know, the ceremony was beautiful. Uh, we did it on the beach. I'll try to post some pictures up, but ceremony was absolutely beautiful. That worked without a hitch. Um, you know, and then afterwards for the reception, the DJ was supposed to be back around seven o'clock. She did not get back until eight o'clock and our photographer was only there until eight o'clock. So in, in that span time or in that period of an hour, we were trying to figure out how to set up our own music on her laptop because, you know, we're like, why? Why are we paying this lady for not even being here? You're deaf? <laughs> I know, that's what I'm talking about. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. It, it is. I can't even hear that one when I'm on it. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm riding it. I'm, I'm like, all right, where's my shift points? <laughs> on the light flash. Right, right. I just want to hear how this sounds. I want to hear how my bike sounds and looks. That is a good looking, I know. Yep, he's having the problem with, yep. Because I got the longer Shogun uh, frame sliders on there. See, he's got the shorty style, which is nice. Yep. 
Okay, he's got the shorty style. And mine, mine come out right here, yeah. He's got the shorty style. That's nice. That's the only reason I did those. Right. Yeah, even with me, I'm like 5'8", and with me, my knees even kind of hit that sometimes. That is a good looking R3 right there, boy. <laughs> It's cool to see somebody else on my bike though. I don't know if he realizes the speed limit's only 35 through here though. <laughs> I'd hate for him to get a ticket. You know what, it's not that loud like riding next to it. You know, an old buddy of mine, he uh, we were riding next to each other and he was like, that thing is so loud. I hate it, I can't stand it. I don't think it's that loud. No, maybe I'm just used to it, but. I definitely love love the way it sounds. Yeah, I just got to be home by noon for the wife, so you know, I think so. I'm gonna cut the video off. Woo. Oh yeah, I think that sounds nice. <laughs> yeah, I like it. So yeah, we're gonna swap bikes back where we first met. And uh, because I got to get home around noon to help the wife uh, get some stuff loaded into her car, and uh, you know, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to continue this vlog on my bike. Uh, it was really awesome to meet up with Matt. If you watched my previous video, uh, this is where we first met up. But uh, yeah, it was really fun meeting up with Matt. Awesome guy. You know, we have a lot of common interests. You know, talking about you know guns, family, stuff like that, bikes, and uh, yeah, it, this this ride was a lot of fun. And it's fun actually, you know, getting on another R3. And this thing is so smooth. So Matt, I really love how smooth your bike is. Like, it, like man, compared to mine, like mine just feels like an old pig compared to this thing. thing does sound good I'm so happy to actually finally hear it like off my bike to actually hear it like next to another person's bike what do you think man it's so smooth it's so smooth like coming from this I didn't realize how how much this bike like vibrated I don't know if it's from the exhaust or what, but like getting on this, I'm like, oh my God, this is so smooth. It's gotta be from the exhaust, there's not much else that's different. Right, yeah, and then the tires, I love the tires. I know, and that's what I couldn't understand. Everybody's like, oh, you're gonna kill the bike, the handling, the performance, blah, 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 it's like. I felt like I had better handling on your bike than I do on mine. It's one of the things I noticed, there's little things on this that ergonomically are different. Of the height. Right. Yep. And then, like, when you were pointing with the mirror. Yeah, it's like, man, it'd be nice if it was right here. It'd be perfect. Right. I yep. Could, like, move my arm out of the way to see it. Right. And actually, yeah, you could probably, if you put bar ends on, yeah, you could probably, like, adjust it. Right. Like, up. Yeah, even if you just turned it up to oh, right. this way. Yeah. You could catch a glimpse out of it, maybe. Mm hmm. I don't know. Yep. Yeah, riding this one, I'm like, I'm like, man, I don't know if it's the tires, the exhaust, or or what, but it's just so smooth. Yeah, it is. You know, and I'm like, I was mentioning in the video, but I'm like, compared to my bike, like, mine feels like an old, uh, just beast, and then this one, it's like, it's so smooth, it's quick. I'm like, man, what the heck? <laughs> and it's like right there is where it engages. Yep. Yep. It's right at the end for some reason. I don't know why. Yep. Yeah, I felt like I was like really on the throttle. Like, all right, <laughs> like where, where's it going? For it to catch. Yep. Yep. That's what I expected on yours. I expected to get it out there. I was like, Bleh. Bleh. Oh, cool. Yep. It's cool getting on somebody else's bike to like yeah. feel, you know, the differences and everything. Yeah. Like even riding behind you and everything. I'm like, man, it just looks like a nice beefy tire. That's what I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if the video will capture it, but. Yeah, look at the size comparison. It's like a scooter compared to like a big bike. <laughs> Thank you. Well, man, we'll have to meet up again and sure. and ride when we got some more time and everything. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I like said next time I'll just trailer it over and yeah, and we can go ride for as long as we want. Right. Yeah, that'd be cool.
So hour and a yep. half one way really takes it long. Right. Yep. All right, man. Cool. Thanks. It was awesome meeting you and riding with you. You too. All right. See you later. Yeah, that was awesome meeting up with Matt. Awesome guy. Awesome bike. A fellow R3. A fellow R3 guy. It's always cool meeting up with new other people who have R3s. We got a little R3 gang. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be a lot more fun to like be able to go out like on longer rides with uh, with people, you know, especially people that you know are from either Facebook or YouTube, uh, Instagram people that I meet on there. But like I said in one of my in the previous video, like or maybe it was in this video, I don't remember. I've made two or three videos of this ride, but like I've met so many like new people in this past week, um, you know, being able to ride with and everything, and it's. It's awesome, you know, meeting meeting these new people. This vlog was kind of jumbled up. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this one, but uh, it was a little jumbled up. I, I don't. I, I'll figure something out. But until the next video, guys, I love you. This camera's dead, so I'm looking at nothing. I'm looking at nothing for nothing. But until the next video, guys, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Get out here and ride. It is beautiful once again. 70 degrees, 75 or something like that. So I will talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye bye. Hey, beautiful. Gotta run back to the house. Grant wants the dinosaurs to bring over to Caleb. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, mom. Mommy's trying to crash me.